I think it's important to watch because what we show is that women who had a a, a, a vaccination against COVID nineteen before conception yeah. has a, 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 a not so good a chance to give birth. They actually gave birth to around one third less children, which shows that there could be some kind of infertility linked to the vaccines against mm. COVID nineteen. It really is a lot, isn't it? So, so vaccinated women had about a third less successful conceptions than unvaccinated women in terms of COVID-19 yeah. vaccinations. Yeah. And uh, th th is this data, um, well, basically, well, I was going to ask a silly question then, because yeah. we know we can't get this data from the United States. No, no. We can't get it from the UK, but you did get it from the Czech Republic, which has been much more open with its data. Yeah. So good that we've got the data from the Czech Republic, but what would you like to see in terms of data releases from everywhere else in the world, basically? I mean, we would love to have access to data, as you say, from the US, from the UK, from, you know, any any odd country, so to speak, mm. because we we expect that we will replicate the, the, the finding, the signal, which is a very varying signal because uh, many countries, not only Denmark, not only the Czech Republic, but many co uh, countries are suffering from a very rapid decline of birth rates. So it's like the population seems to be dying out, so to speak, at least a, a, a rapid decline. And I think what we need is transparency. So we it, we would love to have access to, let's say, U, the UK or the mm -hmm. US. And I think the, the public should demand access to these data because it's so important to have those kind of data and to look into, well, is there a causality? Is there a connection? Or is it just you know, by coincidence, which I don't expect it is. But still, we need to have all this knowledge also so we in the end can, you know, help the women who are suffering or, or the, the couples who are suffering and not being able to get a child. And of course, also to learn from it and going ahead, what, what we should make clear be before vaccinating you know, a whole population, which actually has been the case. And I think in our study, it's interesting because it's 1.3 million women in the childbearing age. And 70% of these women actually had at least one vaccine against COVID-19. And the truth is, none of them actually needed that uh, <laughs> yeah. injection. So yeah. if it was like, all right, it would save them from dying. Well, okay, then you could understand it. Mm. But actually, they should never have had that, what you could call an experimental injection. Mm. And now when you see the outcome and hear that there's a risk that probably some of them may have for life uh, changed their fertility, we, don't, we still don't know whether it's going to go back to normal or it's going to stay a problem because we need data from a longer period of time. But still, this has been, let's say, two or three years taking out of their life where they certainly, some of them, couldn't have the child they, you know, probably wished for. So, so I think it's, it's, it's quite a varying signal. And I think the public has the right to get access to these data in other countries than the Czech Republic. I mean, we've got the personal tragedies here of couples who can't have children, but we've also got this phenomena of yeah. falling birth rates yeah. in in pretty well all Western countries of the endogenous population. More, yes, more or less, more or less, and and there seems to be a connection in the countries which ha which has had a high degree of uh, a, a high degree of vaccination rate. Uh, there seems to be a connection also with the high degree of vaccination rate and the decline of the birth rate. So, I mean, mm. one thing is that what our study shows, which is the first of its kind which has been public, published with peer review and, and, and everything. Mm, so, mm. Uh, so my expectation would be that we could replicate it. But then again, that's what science is all about, that we need to replicate. So mm. it could be, and I don't know, I, I'm not expecting it, but it could be that let's say in the UK it was the opposite or in the US. That's why we need, as Robert Kennedy calls, good science. We need yeah. science and independent science to show these patterns, to show these signals, and in the end, find out how to help the patients, how to make sure it's not going to 
uh, happen again and and you know get the knowledge so we can um proceed in some way or another so i think it's important and i think uh our study is very very varying and and from a personal view i'm quite concerned whether it will get back to normal or if it's um damaged for life that we don't yeah. know i mean we're talking about a massive fact a massive reduction in fertility yeah of the population the endogenous population of pretty well all the countries in the western world mm. the, 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 this couldn't be more serious no the implications no. for families and the influence the, the, the implications for the future of western civilization are immense exactly and, and through that global global future exactly. civilization yeah. and yet we're not allowed the data we've got people like you just waiting to analyze this data with teams of skilled people to do it mm. and the data is just not allowed it's almost as if the the, the release of data or, or the secretion of data is being controlled of course we can't possibly comment on that but um no, you know a lot of sure people someone, are concerned about this uh, for sure someone don't want us to to have the access to data and at one point you can mm. vary are the data still available or have someone, you know, deleted uh, some of the data that we don't know. But what yeah. worries me in, in what we would call democracies is that if you have a democracy, of course, you have a right to have transparency because these are data from you, me. Well, I'm not that fertile and, and you're not a, a, a woman <laughs> in the childbearing age. <laughs> but still, I mean, it's public data. So we should have public access and we should have um, transparency and also, as I said, independent researchers, because mm -hmm. we are a group of independent researchers. But as it is today, it's much more difficult and, and has been for us to have our studies published than for some of the pop, you know, some of the studies which were positive for the mm -hmm. narrative, so to speak. Mm -hmm. So, So I think... This shows not only varying findings concerning infertility linked to uh, the yeah. vaccines against COVID-19, but it also shows that we don't have the transparency we need and we need access to these data as because, as I said, I think yeah. the public has a right to know all this. It's almost as if we've got two tier publications, isn't it? It, it is. It is. Yeah, for and sure. Two, 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 two tier is quite a, a common issue at the moment in the uk a lot of people are talking about yeah various yeah. things that are two tier and we seem yeah. to have a two tier in terms of, of publications and i didn't plan on saying this and we won't talk about it in detail but certain regimes in the past of Euro in europe mm. have promoted selective breeding programs um, That's and right. yeah. eugenics eugenics and yeah if, if this, if there's any possibility of influences on our the reproduction of our of our young men and women, it, 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 this just couldn't be more important, and we have to be really careful that no mistakes that have no. been made in the past in terms of selective breeding and eugenics are not made again. No, and 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 that is the thing, and of course that is the frightening bit. Is this uh, you know, by coincidence, or is it something which has been done, you know, in purpose? And and you know, uh, I don't know any of it. I, I I can just see that the the result is that there is some kind of negative association between fertility and you know having had a, a vaccine. But whether it was um, deliberate or not, that that I don't know. But if you go further into that, you also know that there's something about who takes the vaccine, who doesn't, which which social class take the vaccines, which doesn't. There's a lot of things. If if you follow that path, and I'm not going to say we're going to follow that path because that that I don't have any data. That would just be a a discussion. But if that was the case. It's, of course, also concerning because mm. you know that, that there's a different access to who takes vaccines, who doesn't, who gets, who says no, who doesn't say no, who, uh, who knows, who, 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 you know, go and get the information and who doesn't, especially if they want to get pregnant. But different subpopulations, subpopulations within countries even. 
exactly, exactly. So, but but nevertheless, uh, I I still think whatever the reason was, and I, I think the outcome is very varying. And and yep. and going back to what was it all about, and 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 what were they trying to? Because one thing is we are showing things about the childbirth rates, but mm. you could take the opposite, the excess mortality. Uh, you know, yeah. we also had excess mortality literally on a date, May 21, it all started. Yeah. And that's also, well, what, what, what was that all about? Um, you know, were we too many on the planet? I mean, lots of those ideas and thoughts, which for well, some... Or was it, was it the wrong sort on the planet that some people don't want? Exactly. And and there you go again. I mean, were they going for someone and what, what was the whole idea of that? And, and that... Yeah. I'm not the right to uh, the, the right to um, answer that question, but all I can say is that certainly the impact of the rollout of the vaccinations had many, many, uh, you know, very bad results. And one of them yeah. was excess mortality. One of them yeah. seems to be infertility. But yeah. whether it was someone who planned it, mm. I don't know. But but you know, another thing which I think is odd when we have all this is some of what people called conspiracy and that's a conspiracy theory and and you know people kind of point fingers fingers and all that like if you take the geoengineering everyone has been laughing about um the um, what's it called the chemtrails and all that yeah and the then ge geoengineering it, yeah, yeah. And geoengineering and then it shows up that it's actually happening you know and oh yeah yeah up. yeah there's, there's a huge budget for it in my country and it's all it, done exactly. really quite covertly what's going on and like yeah. here in denmark which is a small country but like here in denmark the minute you mention it it's like oh there she goes again you know then it's no, like no no it, we, we know it's happening uh, it's we, happening we know this. and and lots we, we of know, we know it's happening Exactly. Lots of science is going on. But yeah. still, you know, so some of these ideas, it could be conspiracy going back to why if, if someone planned the infertility path, so to speak. But I don't know. But I certainly know that it, for some that has been the price of having a vaccine they should never have had in, in yep. the first case you know they should never have had it they didn't have any risk of getting corona um we know that they didn't do well, anything they would have got it, but it wouldn't have been insignificant when we're talking about healthy young women for almost exactly all of them. E exactly and and mm. it didn't do anything to transmission and all that so so it's i like think essentially not no 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 so but but then again i'm, I'm i don't know if someone did it uh De deliberately or not yeah. uh, and, and had planned for for that 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 could be interesting but 